Hi everyone, welcome to a new video here on my channel. My name is Zyra and I post mainly art and drawing videos. So if you'd like to watch more, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe. First of all, I want to thank Fashionary and more specifically Vicky for sending these products to me so I can try them out. I'm so excited to be showing these to you on video here on YouTube. I received them a couple weeks ago, but I finally managed to edit the video and have it uploaded here. So as some of you also might know, I am an affiliate of Fashionary, which is why I received this product. But that also means that if you are interested in purchasing the products that you see in this video, as well as any of their amazing products on their website, you can use my code Zyra10 for 10% off your entire purchase of Fashionary products. So I will leave their link, the link to their website in the description box. So feel free to have a look um, and browse for their products and use that code to your advantage. I highly recommend checking them out. And now on to the unboxing. There are two products in this unboxing and I'm going to start off with the memo pad. This retails for $14.19 US dollars on their website and it comes with 360 removable pages. So it works like a memo pad. You can tear off the pages and basically use those pages anywhere that you want. These pages are 80 GSM cream colored paper. So it's got that yellowish tint to it, which I absolutely love. And I also, of course, love the idea that these are removable because then you can put the drawings onto like a mood board, which is how they've been marketed, or you can insert them into your sketchbook. Each paper also comes with a figure template on one side and a technical template on the other side so you can use either side depending on what you want to create. So the templates, they're also lightly dotted on the pages so that they don't interrupt your drawings, especially when you scan them. It's very hard to pick up on camera, but you do see it um, in person. And lastly, this collection also comes in this gorgeous water resistant calico cover, and it just looks so beautiful and chic. Also this memo pad, the size of it is 9.7 centimeters by 20 centimeters and it is also available in menswear if you are interested. So that will be linked in the description box down below. The second product is the sketchbook, which is very similar, but of course also different because this time it is a sketchbook and not a memo pad. So what they gave me was the A4 size sketchbook in women's wear, but this is also available in a smaller A5 size and it also comes in men's wear, both in A4 and A5. So the A4 women's wear, it retails for $24.90 US dollars on their website and it comes with 96 bleed proof 128 GSM cream color paper. And of course, each sheet comes with two figure templates that are lightly dotted onto the page, both front and the back. So in a normal spread, you get a total of four templates that you can use for your drawings. Another thing I absolutely love about Fashionary and of course their sketchbooks is the information that they include in the sketchbook, which I find to be very useful and very interesting. It's almost like a mini fashion dictionary and that takes up 15% of the sketchbook so there's a couple pages dedicated just for that. So if you're a fashion designer or a student or you're simply interested in fashion, I feel like this is a really useful tool and resource. And of course 85% of the sketchbook is dedicated to the blank pages with the fashion templates that you can use for your sketches. Similar to the memo pad, the sketchbook also comes with this beautiful calico cover that I just, every time I look at it, I feel like I really want to customize it. The sketchbook also comes with a cotton ribbon bookmark that you can use, of course, but then at the back, they also have their resources pamphlet and then a fashionary paper bookmark. So you kind of have two, which is really good. And that is pretty much it for the products that I received from Fashionary. They look 
absolutely amazing and that is something to be expected with fashion air products they are totally spot on when it comes to the aesthetic but also the functionality of their products and the quality so I can't wait to try them out. And just before we get started with the demonstration, I just want to add that Fashionary has a special launch offer for this Atelier collection. So the first 200 customers to purchase any two items from their Atelier collection will receive a complimentary limited edition Fashionary pencil set. So be sure to check out this collection through the links down below. And once again, that's the first 200 customers to purchase any two items from their Atelier collection will receive the limited edition Fashionary pencil set. Unfortunately, I don't have this in the video to be showing you guys, but be sure to check out their website. And of course, take advantage of my code Zyra10 for that 10% off your entire purchase of Fashionary products. So that's basically like two amazing deals, 10% off. And if you're one of the first 200, then you also get a freebie. How amazing is that? Now onto the demonstration. So for the demonstration, I am going to be doing a study of an 18th century dress and you will be seeing that on the left hand side of the page and then on the right hand side of the page, I will be turning that 18th century dress into a 1970s look. So this is actually something that I am currently practicing, like this is an exercise that I've given myself for a particular project in university. So I am working on a show at the moment and I am the set and costume designer for a university project. And we've been in the talks of creating a costume that um, takes inspiration from 18th century elements and silhouettes and cuts and then kind of transforms that into a 1970s look. So that's what I'm trying to do. So basically I took a reference image of an 18th century dress and then I looked at the elements that they used. For example, of course, the corset as like one piece and there's the handkerchief or like the shawl on the shoulder and then there's the skirt like that has like two layers with the opening at the front and I basically took those and found pieces that fit into the 1970s aesthetic and then kind of combined them together, styled them together to create a similar look. I hope that makes sense, but that was kind of just an exercise that I was doing for myself just to kind of practice and see what things we might be able to come up with with other silhouettes. So this is just like a trial version. I am also taking this time to practice how to draw clothing and creases in clothing, especially when it comes to coloring and shading, because that is something that I haven't really practiced in ages. I find that when I'm creating costume illustrations more recently is that I tend to go for kind of a cartoony look or a very digital blocky look. And that usually means there's not a lot of creases happening or the creases sometimes are just very minimal and very simplified. So I kind of wanted to practice creating um, creases on clothing that resembled um, what we actually see in real life. So something that was a little bit more semi-realistic. And I just wanted to try that with these illustrations. So in order to do that, of course, I used reference images, both for the 18th century um, gown. And I also sourced a bunch of reference images and kind of just meshed them together to create the, the um, look for the 1970s outfit. And I'm actually pretty happy with how this whole exercise turned out, like in terms of how I tried to create the 1970s look from the 18th century. And also with the practicing of the creases, I think that I did pretty okay. But of course, there's always improvement for next time. As for the fashionary product, I absolutely love it. This is such an improvement from their previous sketchbooks, the ones that I've used before and the ones that I still also have in my sketchbook collections. Um, 
I think the main difference, obviously, is the bleed proof paper. Like just having that makes this whole experience amazing because on their website, they really advertise that the bleed proof paper is perfect for markers and for watercolors. These are typically the materials that are used in fashion illustration um, or costume illustration. But of course you can use other things as well. Like I use pencil for this one and I also used ink. So I mainly used watercolors and of course it didn't bleed, not at all. There wasn't even any kind of ghosting or any paper reaction aside from the buckling. Sometimes if I use watercolors and especially if I use too much watercolors on the back of the page, um, especially with the previous fashionary sketchbook, you'd kind of see a little bit of the water like pooling. So that didn't happen with this sketchbook, which is really great. And I haven't tried it with markers yet, but I can already tell even just from the paper texture and the thickness of it that it will not bleed. I also used a black brush pen that typically bleeds as well. Sometimes if the paper's a little bit thick and it's not bleed proof, sometimes it'll ghost where you can still like see a hint of it on the back of the paper. But for this one also did not happen, which is really, really amazing. So it's totally bleed proof um, based on my demonstration. The paper, like I said, it is quite thick, but it is definitely not thick that it is able to handle watercolors in the same way that watercolor paper would. So I'm totally fine with that. I know there are people out there who like this is a, like a big no for them because the paper buckles. But I kind of like how the paper buckles. Like I just love how that like the sketchbook looks after it's been used for a long time and you have all of these amazing watercolor drawings and illustrations and the papers have buckled and waved. I personally like that so I have absolutely no problem with this but um, just be wary that if you are interested in this product the paper will buckle if you use watercolors. It will not bleed but it will buckle. So Similar to the previous fashionary sketchbooks, that's also happened, but because it is a little bit thicker, this um, new sketchbook, the buckling isn't actually as intense. So that's still an improvement for me. Another positive, of course, is that because it is bleed proof, then we are able to use all sides of the sketchbook. And that's something that is also an improvement for me. I also really like the size of the fashion templates, which I did touch on a little bit in the beginning of this video. I really like the size of two templates together on a page rather than three smaller templates together on a page. I think two is just a little bit more up to my taste. There's still a lot of space in between, like on the top of the pages or even in the bottom of the pages, depends what you're creating or what you're drawing for any annotations or notes, or if you wanna stick any photos or maybe even something from the memo pad onto the pages of the sketchbook, then I think there's still space for that. And yeah, I am just really, really happy with this product. I absolutely love it. It looks amazing and it also functions really well. So I am so excited to keep using this. I think the only thing I would probably like that was in the previous sketchbook and isn't on this one is probably the back pocket. I sometimes like, I'm not a big fan of the back pocket, but sometimes I do use it. So I kind of miss it that it's not there, but usually when it's there, I, I don't really, I'm not like super happy that, oh, there's a back pocket. Like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Sometimes I do use it, but like, it's not the most important thing, but now that it's not there, I kind of miss it. So yeah, <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Aside from that, I really, really recommend using the sketchbook and purchasing the sketchbook if you are someone like me who is very much interested in um, fashion or costume illustration, if you're studying um, a fashion design course or a costume design course, or if you just like to draw clothes on people, I think this would work really well too if you do a lot of character um, drawings because you can use a template um, and kind of change it up. Like you don't have to use a template as it is or on the pose as it is. You can kind of change it up as you go. But like I said, super impressed with this product and I highly, highly recommend it. I won't be doing a demo of the memo pad in this video, but stay tuned for a separate video on that. 
And if you want to see more fashionary videos on my channel, there will be a cards link in the top corner of this video. So feel free to check those out. And once again, get in quick for that special launch offer where the first 200 customers to purchase any items from their atelier collection will receive the complimentary limited edition fashionary pencil set. And also take advantage of using my code when purchasing those two items. My code is Zyra10 and that gives you 10% off your entire purchase of fashionary products. Whether you want to buy just two items from their Atelier collection to get into that free um, pencil set, or you want to add some more items into there, because I do recommend that you check out their website and their range of products. But with that said, I will end today's video. Once again, don't forget to click the links in the description box. Check out Fashionary. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Share this video as well to fellow artists, especially if you think they might be interested in this particular product or just Fashionary in general. And thank you so much for watching and I wish you the best of luck with your art journey and I will see you in my next one.